You would not believe how hard I, I, I tried to find this. But yes, this is what I needed. I thought I searched this table. No, I have to be in a specific location. Dear goodness. But um, before this thing, he said, nothing's here. And now, nothing's here. Huh? Wait a minute. What's this? There's something carved on the other side of the table. M. J. Barry. Why does that name sound so familiar? Let's see. Barry, Barry, Barry. Aha! Here it is. Peter Pan and Wendy. What's this? Well, this is certainly cute. Oh my god! It's Arthur and, um, Alfred! I'm guessing a child drew this. I wonder how long it was tucked in here. It looks pretty old. See, so yeah, there's something on the back. Received on April 23rd. 1740. Oh, 34. This has to be the seven digit one. April, so like four. Yeah. Yeah, the four, two, three, one, seven, three, four. Yeah, this drawing's definitely old. Maybe not valuable, but I'll keep it. Besides, if you look at it from an angle, the tall one kind of looks like me. I keep hitting shift, it's obviously not going fast. But I have it. This is... This is for... What is it? I know, I just said it. I like how different characters have different things. 423 1734. 423 1734. 423 1734. It worked. Now let's see what we have here. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and even two handfuls of various gods. In my bag you go! Huh? What's this? Found a piece of paper. What's this in here? Oh well, I better keep it. It might be important. It has the numbers 5, 8, 19, 85 written on it. Let's save. This is episode 3. This is how I'm going to keep track of what we did each episode. Five, Finally, there better be something worth down here. I wonder what's down here. Arthur! Arthur, where are you? Over here, lad. Oh. Did you find anything? You bet. Bag of treasure signs, too. And there's more in the master bedroom in the attic. Good boy. Good job, boy. So what's down there? No clue, but there must be something important. And to have a digital lock. Well... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go down there and find out. Right. Peter joined the party. See, this would make a great place to say, In the next episode! 
but I was an idiot. So. Do, do, do. <laughs> Jeez, it's. Jeez, is there a window being open? It's so dusty. Hey, look over there, Captain. A suit of armor. Bunch of crates over there. Ooh, there's some unopened bottles of wine. Of course, you're not having any, though. Haha, -ha, easy, boy. Don't get too excited now. Let's see what we have down here. Just a bucket. A lamp, maybe? Ah! Peter? What happened? The floor broke under my foot and now it's stuck. Help, Peter. I'll get him out of there. Settle down, don't worry. I'll get you out of there. Just be quiet, the gods might hear you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pull on the count of three. One, two, three. There we go, is your foot okay? It's fine, thanks. That's that's good. Be ca careful next time. Remember, this house is old. Sorry. Well, I guess there's some decayed wood as we. Hello, what's this? What is it? There's something under the floorboards. Let's see. A book. Wonder how long it's been hiding under there. What is a captain? It's in another language of s it's in another language of s or some sort of gibberish. San San Sancha ba Bara Wizana Wapaton Rana It in Chakartra? What the heck does that mean? What? What was that? I don't. Did you see that light just now? Yeah, it looked like it came from inside the building. Boys, let's go check it out. I'll get the lieutenant. Yes, sir. Shit. Peter, quick, grab what you can and let's get out of here. Right. I was forgotten down here. Oh! I'm amazed this cloak is still in one piece. Absolutely no idea what the tablet says. Magic water. What water? I don't even know. Is it this thing? We'll never go unless we try. This, I think it's a hexagram. What's that? I don't know. Something to conjure up demons, at least. Kind of silly, if you ask me. Tell me about it. The person who <laughs> she was obviously crazy. It's ha In his head to believe it's. This kind of baloney. Okay. Shift's working now. Halt! Civilians are prohib prohibited from entering the building. You're under arrest. Damn it. Let go of me, you jack! Peter! We said halt! Damn you. That's enough out of you. Oh. No, Captain, get up! Shut it, kid. Ugh. Shit. Hey, do you think two might be the burglars we've been searching for? Maybe. For now, let's bring him in. Damn it. Sorry, Peter. There's still something you can do. You have what you need now. Use it. What in the... Fire. Fire? How how did I? Peter! Come on, lad, speak to me. Uh, Captain? W what happened? Captain, you're hurt! Never mind that, we have to get out of here. Uh. You bastard will pay. You bastards will pay for that little magic trick. Magic? What are we gonna do, Captain? Don't worry, lad. Remember, you're with me. And I always have a plan. Get them! Time to put your war face on, lad. Right. 
can now use Arthur to learn Fire and Aura Blade. Fire! Oh, wait. Fire here, here. Fire. Ooh. No, don't attack Peter! What's wrong with you people attacking little kids? Peter, attack the one in the middle. Probably the last day. Special double shot, all of them. Peter's doing great. Of course we won. I'll be taking this. Now's our chance. Fire! Double shot. Find us keepers! No good, we can't get out this way. I like the power- <laughs> I like the power rangers. <laughs> There's a- Find us, keep us. No good, we can't get out this way. Yeah. Maybe there's an escape on the roof, like... We need to find a way out. Oh, the basement. Lock the door? What choice do I have? If they come barging in here, at least they'll capture they'll capture immediately. At least this will prolong it. Now we're trapped. Yeah, but there has to be a way out of here. And then we can manage to bypass the guards and get back to the inn. Hmm. The inn. The inn. We're back to the inn. Um, Captain, what is it? Peter, don't touch things you're not supposed to! <laughs> what in the world? Huh? You got to be kidding me. Uh, are we really here? It... it looks like it, lad. Captain, what in the world happened back there? Um, Captain? Sorry, lad, but it's been a long day. I'm kinda tired. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Huh? But... I don't know what happened there, either. I need to process it all myself before we can talk about it together. Understood? Let's just ignore it for now and be grateful we managed to get out of that mess somehow. But it's so weird not to talk to talk or even think about it. I know. 
promise we'll talk about what happened today later, but my mind could use some rest at the moment. Okay, but at least let me bandage your wound before you go back to sleep. That, that sounds good, good. Now hold still, this might hurt a little. There, that should do it. I still lost two bags of treasure. Well, I'm off. I'll be back in a few hours. You're going now? You know, it could be dangerous for us to go outside in the moment. The police could be looking for us. I know, but it's been a while since I dropped off of anything to them. They still need me. Alright, be careful and exchange those bags at different pawn shops from the last time. Got it! See you later, Captain. Sleep well. Yeah. See you later. In, Miss H. We have received a we haven't received a report in a while. What's your status? I'm here, just finished my mission. No signs of trouble among the cargo. That's good. Mr. V says you can return to base now. Sorry, no can do. Something just came up. Huh? What do you mean? I'll tell you later, but for now, it seems that I have more intel to gather. Over and out. W wait. Ah, <sighs> no luck again. Today, oh well, I guess I'll have to try again tomorrow. On the Michelle's that fish she's so pompous. I should head to the harbor and see if she's waiting for me. Oh, and he hasn't checked his pockets. Yeah, Mia, if you're going down to the harbor, bring back me some fish. It's been pretty quiet today. A bit boring, if you ask me. Arf, arf, bark, woof, woof. Aww. Hi there. I like you. Please take me home. Please stop following me. Blushes. So cute. Is the dog following me? <gasps> arf, arf, woof, woof. Aww. Oh, I want a doggy. My ship was supposed to end five minutes ago. Quit your complaining until our superiors tell us otherwise we continue to stand guard. I should head to the harbor. It's weird, I'm glitching a bit. She's not here. Actually, where is everyone? I mean, it's only 5 o'clock. There should be at least a, a few cells open. Also, why did Mr. Daniels pack his crates halfway through and then leave them unattended? That was careless of him. Oh well, I better go get dinner elsewhere. What was that? You idiot! Grab her before she gets away! Get back here, you brat! It's coming from over there. <gasps> no, let me go! Michelle Chun, come down, it's me! Uh, kick you? What's the matter? There's a big. What's a big commotion? I'll kick you. You have to believe me. I didn't do anything honest. What in the world are you talking about? There she is! Surrender yourself. Any more attempts to refuse compliance will result in a severe punishment. Civilian, step away from the traitor. Traitor, what are you talking about? Can someone please tell me what's going on? We don't have to disclose anything to you. Now step aside. Please, listen to me. I'm not a traitor. I'm just a plain fish seller. Do we look like fools? Don't play innocent. Is this not your profile I see on my SCD? Powering surveillance and communication device. Accessing criminal files. Profile loaded. Michelle Bonafé. Approximately in late teens, brown 
hair color brown, eye color amber, skin color light brown. According to the, this profile, that girl has committed treason against the Empire, considered a national threat. She is de to be detained and immediately sent to the capital without any questions. By orders of the Emperor himself, we will obey. No way. This can't be me, can it? Now, unless you want to be arrested as well, step aside and hand over the girl. No, absolutely not. Kiki? I know Michelle. I've known her for years. She and she is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Have you? Do you have any evidence supporting your claim against her? Watch your mouth, boy! How dare you speak to an officer like that? Or even dare to question the authority of His Majesty? That's a capital offense. I, I don't care. He's wrong about the Michelle. I cannot allow s such a thing if there's no proof. It's not right and completely unjustified. Oh, I'm gonna have fun dragging your little ass to jail. N no. Michelle Chan? <coughs> Quickly, we need to get out of here. Now! R right! Where do you think you're going? Give up, you're surrounded. So these two are keeping you guys held up? A little girl and Mr. Shorty over here. <laughs> Pathetic. Shut up! Michelle Chan, when I give you the signal, run from here as fast as you can while I hold them off. No way, I can't. Just please, if you don't get the way, all my efforts up to now would be in vain. What the hell are you rats whispering about? Oh, nothing. Just how ineffective you guys are to your jobs. That's it, I'm skewering this brat. Now! You obtained a wooden stick. I will not let you pass me. Don't just stand there, get him! You'll play for insubordination. Die! I think. Oh, oh, oh. oh, why didn't I just take Pete's and Lofa when he asked me if I wanted to learn fight? Well, there's no turning back now. If I can buy Michelle Chan enough time to get away from here safely. Ooh! You are very powerful with a six sir. They do like nothing. Bam. I'm very pleased with the result. Huh? What does this? Did that really just happen? Did I really beat up four tra trained and armored officers with a wooden stick? How on earth? I need to get out of here. Now, now, what do we have here? Mm. Mm, Lieutenant! Sir, this man! Shut your mouth, you filthy dog! Yeah, one order, and you let a guy with a wooden stick in your way? Pathetic. A disgrace to call yourselves a soldier of our... Great Emperor Cryosis. It's bring such dishonor to his name. Is for is unforgivable. By the way, that's Lieutenant Carido to you. Oh, this is. I just gave Tony a girl name. That's uh Spain. As for you, these men are e either worthless pieces of trash, or you actually have some skill. <laughs> By now, you know there's no escape to you. Escape for you, but now that made me curious. Go find that disgusting traitor and bring her here to me at once. Yes, sir. Leave Michelle down alone. That's some guts you have. Even in the situation you're in, you're still defending her. I will not allow you to hurt my friend. You'll have to kill me before that happens. Very well, then. There's Spain. This guy's different from those other officers. I better be careful. One wrong move, then. Oops. I guarded. I'll just have to keep hitting. 
No, it's a bear! I don't have anything special! Did you really think you have a chance against me? Uh, what a waste of time. No. Huh? Who the hell are you? Get up, I'm getting you out of here. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, Tony, but this guy's coming with me. How did you- uh, Don't just stand there, you fools, get them! Watch out behind you! Is that hungry? Now, let's get out of here while they're disoriented. Run for it. Nice. Well, that could have gone better. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me who you are? I'll tell you later. But for now, let's get you to safety. Tell me, do you know where Earl Park is? Yes, but I don't know where it's important. Good, take me there. Huh? But what? Ask questions later. Move it now. Yes, ma'am. And we will save it. Vamos! <laughs> this. For the next episode. That's right, I will save this for the next episode. I will leave you on a cliffhanger. Until then, have a great day. Bye!